Hi, it's Barbara. Welcome back to Wikidesign. Today I'm going to show you how to create an RSS campaign using MailerLite. This is really useful if you have a blog and you want to notify your email list whenever you make a new post. It's really easy to do in MailerLite, so let's get started with this tutorial. I'm logged into my MailerLite dashboard and I'm going to go to Create Campaign. But I'm actually going to click this down arrow because I don't want to create a regular campaign. I want to create an RSS campaign. So we'll click RSS campaign. And from here, we're going to need to put in some different settings. The first is the RSS feed URL. Now, if you have a WordPress website, your feed URL is whatever your domain name is slash feed. So in this example, I'm going to use my travel blog and that is mustlovetraveling.com slash feed. So you just want to put in your URL and then slash feed and it will pull up your XML feed, which is all of this code. And that is what we need to enter into our RSS settings. So we're going to copy this and then we'll paste it in here. For the subject, you can put whatever you want in here. I like to keep this pretty simple, so I'm just going to put latest updates. Now down here, you'll have some settings for who is it from. So you'll probably just want to keep this as is, but you can change this if you need to. So I just have must love traveling, my email address, and then the language, I'm just going to pick English. So once you have all that set up, you'll click next. Now we can decide how we want this sent out. So we can send it every day, we can send it every week or every month. I'm going to choose every week. And then from there, I can decide what day I want it sent out. So you can pick whatever day you want. I'll just pick Thursday and then we can do whatever time you want as well. So I'll just pick 10. We have the option down here to only send this out if there's new posts. So what this RSS campaign is doing is it's going and checking for new content in your RSS feed. So if there isn't any new content, we can say don't send anything out. So we have the option to check this on or off. I'm just going to check this on because I only want my campaign to send out when I have written a new post. Down here, we can have a notification email get sent out to us if we want to be notified when a campaign does get sent out. So you can just put your email address in here. And then up next, we have content. So this is where we get to design how the email looks. So we can use the drag and drop editor if we have the free version. This works great, I just have the free version, so I'm going to choose that. But if you do have a paid version of MailerLite, you can use these different templates. Uh, I like just using the drag and drop editor because I can customize it and make it look exactly how I want it to look. So I'm just going to choose that. And that will open up the editor. And then from here, we can just design our email however we want. So we have all of these blocks on the left-hand side, and then we have uh, on the right-hand side how the email template will look. There are some really cool different blocks in MailerLite that you can use to display your RSS list. So this one right here, is just a plain list. So if we drag that over, it's just going to put in our list. So it's actually pulling from my RSS feed and you can see that there's the featured image in here. There's a little excerpt and then a read more link. So it's actually pulling in all of my information from my feed. I didn't have to set this up at all because I already added my feed settings from the previous step. So this is really cool. Uh, and then, like I said, you can change whatever you want in this. So if you don't need this information, feel free to delete it. Feel free to put in your own logo, customize it however you want. And once you're done customizing it, you'll just wanna hit done editing. And that will take you to the recipients page and then you'll decide who you want this sent out to. If you have an email list for your blog, it'll probably be everyone on the list. I'm just going to click all active subscribers and then I'm going to hit review and confirm. 
When you get to the review and confirm page, it just reviews all of the details that you put in. So you'll have the subject and sender, you'll have the content, the recipients, and then the RSS setting. So this campaign will be sent every week on Thursday at 10, and only the new posts will be shown. If you need to change anything, you can just click these buttons to edit the settings. And then once you're done with that, you'll want to hit schedule. When you get to the schedule page, you can click this box if you want to use Google Analytics link tracking so you can track some statistics from your campaign. And then you'll hit send. That will take you to campaigns and you'll see that the email that I've just created is now listed under campaigns. If I ever needed to edit this, I would just go to cancel and edit and I can make whatever edits I need and then just send it out again. Well, that's how you create an RSS campaign using MailerLite. I hope that you found this video helpful, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you get notified whenever we upload new videos like this one. See you next time.